Hello, my name is Lynn, and today we're talking about plastic bottles. Plastic bottles are used every day in our life. But have you ever thought what happened to them after they've been used? Well, some are thrown into the ocean, some are buried underground, which should take hundreds of years to recycle, and others will be burned, which will cause greenhouse gas that will affect our climate. But there's going to be a better solution, which is recycle them. Data shows in 2014, 3,003 million tons of plastic are being recycled, which is an increase of 97 million tons. But not every plastic is recyclable or highly accepted. Today, we're going to talk about a few types of these plastic. The first plastic I chose to present to you are PETs, which stands for polyethylene that and PET is number one on the recycling code and it is one of the most recyclable plastics out there PET is widely used for soft drinks because of its excellent water and moisture barrier around 56 million tons are produced annually PET was first patented in 1941 and later Chemists discover how to stretch it to create a PET film, which helped the production of PET bottles in 1973. A downside of PET bottles is if it goes through degradation, it could cause reduced in molecular weight and off fruity smell of the bottle known as acetaldehyde, which is a problem in packaging. Next, we're going to be talking about polyethylene which contains high-density polyethylene and low-density polyethylene. Polyethylene has a chemical compound of two carbon and four hydrogen atoms. It could be modified by natural gas or from cracking of crude oil in the gasoline. The first industrial polyethylene was around 1933 and they figured out how to apply high pressure to ethylene, about 1,000 to 3,000 bars. Uh, and a little oxygen and put it under around 80 to 300 degrees Celsius. This remained relatively hard to reproduce until around 1935 when another ICI chemist developed a high pressure synthesis. And this became the basis of polyethylene's production in 1939. Today we know this polyethylene as low density polyethylene and its melting point is about uh, 105 degrees to 115 degrees Celsius. This polyethylene is uh, low density polyethylene is relatively uh, acceptable in recycling, but this may require special facilities. Another way to produce polyethylene is by applying low pressure to it, with about 10 to 80 bars and 70 to 300 degrees Celsius. This will produce a much stiffer plastic than low density polyethylene, and its melting point is about 120 to 180 degrees Celsius. High density polyethylene's recycling code is number two, and when we do recycle it, it could be made into pipes and toys and ropes, etc. Carl Ziegler of what is today Max Planck Institute was given the credit for discovering it in 1953. Well, for this, he received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1963. If you would like to learn more about plastic bottles, please go to chemistryislife.com.